Boom! Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to the new episode of Audio Talks. Tonight, this evening rather, we are gonna talk about an issue which is not strictly audio related, but I mean it's like it's linked in a in a certain way with with what we do. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me hope that you'll find this episode very, very, very helpful. Mm. So, yeah, how are you? Have you been uh, since since the last week? So, as usual, please, you can uh, spam, share this live everywhere. Let me just send you the last uh invitations on uh, whatsapp snapchat and everywhere else uh, so yeah so yeah last episode i got so many views uh i think YouTube is the platform for this kind of uh, for this kind of things, uh, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. So you don't have to download uh, another app, another app. Everything it's uh, it's already there. Uh, so yes, yes, Christmas is approaching. What are you going to do for Christmas? So here, of course, as usual, uh, a lot of food, a lot of, you know, family things, and and yes, so on this nothing new under the sun, I mean, I'm Italian, it's part of my culture, food is part of my culture, uh, actually food is a cultural thing. No, in the Italian culture, people tend, uh, as Italian, we, we, we tend to overdue, as you, as you can see. Uh, overdue with, 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 with food. Boom. So, yeah. Yeah. How was your last, uh, your Black Friday uh, shopping? How was it? What are you? What have you bought? You can see people connecting. Let's let's give it a few minutes. For for me, I bought. Uh, I haven't bought so many plugins because I already have a lot of them. And actually, the the free one I got, um, it was what I needed. I mean, I really needed a, a cool distortion like a super cool and flexible distortion and guess what berserk that distortion was free so i got it and uh, yeah nothing else i wanted to get horizon mix bus hmm. but it's like really amongst all the software i can get that I should get that one. Mm, it's true that it was uh, it would have been given to me at twenty bucks, but I mean, it's like I have to download it, to install it, to oh, sorry, to understand it. Uh, another software. Mm, I don't know. It could have been it could have been tricky. As usual, let me know if you hear me well, if you see me well, if you can see the work I'm doing at the gym compared to when we started this mm. so yes mental health mm. let's let's start let's see where we'll get where we will get with uh, with this live 
uh, as you as I'm very confident that you keep inviting your friend that you keep spamming the live all over the place we can start so mental health hmm. why is such an important thing for us for us I intend as uh, people who works in the creative industry of course this live it's uh it could be for everyone but uh but yeah being me a sound engineer of course i aim i aim to to talk to that kind of audience but really it's like please even if you have a friend who is a bit down or who think you know might benefit of my words and my fantastic presence please like invite invite him or or have so sorry mental health well um, let me start by telling you that for for us creative uh, creative people uh, mental health it's a sensitive theme because we work in, in a um, in a very volatile environment like today we might see a lot of things happening a lot of uh, i don't know money fame glory and uh, and things like that And then the next day, boom. Uh, Nothing. So this up and down, up and down, up and and down. This instability because, I mean, you might get an album that you have to do to finish in one week. Then maybe for three months, you don't get much, you know. So it's like it's up and down, up and down, up and down. Which, I mean, for for a person, as as as, as human being, we are our, our lives are based on routine. No, so for us not having a routine, it's it can destabilize a person. Mm. So the music environment is surely, 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 very volatile, and as being the core of a studio like being the engine of a studio our contribution i mean our emotions are not really considered we are actually paid to be what can i say to be uh, silent and cold no no i won't say cold but i mean silent and neutral maybe um, so and it's not easy because we have to deal with emotions whenever we are dealing with a song for example we are dealing with uh, a part of the music expression whenever we are dealing with an advertisement uh, we need to uh, take into consideration what's the what's the human factor no we need to take into consideration all these things all and not only why Uh, because we need to be empathetic we need to resonate with the audience we need to understand the message we need to flow into this kind of things no now imagine that you just broke up with your lady and now you are <laughs> you're going to the studio to record like an album um, which talks about heartbreaking you know or breakups it's like whoa <laughs> you want to take a microphone cable and boom hang hang on yourself um, so you know it's like we are always fluctuating 
you're always fluctuating between the the the, the this thin line no of the of the emotion plus together with a very unstable job but i would tend to say it's not only the uh, sound engineering bit instability it's uh, all over mm. and it's part of this generation so unfortunately we are in a generation where things are not very stable so tomorrow there is work to today there is work sorry tomorrow there is not work and the work that is there tomorrow might just be for survival no uh, so we need we need to find a way to balance ourselves no in, uh, in this of course if you have a stable job if you have a, a, an office job and follow me in this in this way of reasoning if you have a, an office job is like your balance is already somehow fixed you don't have to i mean eight hours of your day are already covered you know you are starting to work uh, at this time of the day you know you are finishing at this other time of the day and uh, and yes you are done you know you are earning this much everything is already pre-packed we can say we do not really have to uh, find a balance in um, in our things if we have an office an office job of course for us as freelancer the question is uh, wow wow it's so different why uh, basically because we need also to create our job we need to feel the time <laughs> in between jobs without feeling as if we are wasting our time as if we are not doing enough as if we are not pushing so it's important to find balance between these elements otherwise of course uh, you can imagine no it's like um, it's easy to start to to go and find other in quotes solutions no uh, maybe you drink because you don't think about it maybe you use some kind of substances because uh, you don't think about it so you you basically <laughs> put your brain to sleep yes uh, yeah uh, hi sean how are you have you put your like here have you shared uh, this live this live to all your chicks yes you are your own boss and time management is key of course of course it's like when you're a freelancer your uh, the most valuable asset you have apart from knowledge i think is time no so because potentially every hour is worth it has a value no so time management is the key but 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 and it happened in the past that maybe you have i remember also when i was when i was in the school you know when i was teaching uh, back in kenya uh, there the moment you have class and you have to write the syllabus and you have to correct the homework and you have to make the exam etc 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 maybe you also have projects on the side everything is happening at the same time then maybe maybe <laughs> you have like four weeks of bre break where whoa you wake up in the morning and there was especially a time where i was adjusting you know to to eat that you wake up in the morning and you look at the ceiling like <laughs> for whole morning uh wow so mental mental health of course this lifestyle can lead you easily into into depression no but it's the same time for example for for a while uh, 
uh, air hostess, uh, air stewards, uh, were really suffering of, of depression. Why? Because they were traveling from, uh, you know, a place to another. So it, it was a heavy, you know, a heavy thing for your mind and your body to adapt. So whatever brings you away from, a, um, I'd say, from a, um, a routine, it somehow... I, I won't say bre- breaking, but it's somehow not doing good for the balance you are trying to create in your life. Again, also, it requires an extra mile as a freelancer to uh, do a financial plan, basically, you know? So your financial plan is maybe st- instead of being monthly it will become yearly with all the annexes that you know and the collateral that this might imply uh, so you really need to have a long run vision which is not a common thing which is not easy i mean we are taught since we are uh, in primary school that the the, the work or a job is when you wake up in the morning, you go to a building, you do stuff for the whole day, then you end up at around 4 or 5, you go back home, boom. This is a this is like the the, the, the working life we are used to. So you understand that we grow up like with that uh, with that view. Now having something different. Wow, wow. So, I'd say routine, routine, so the lack of a routine for a sound engineer is uh, is a very bad factor. Because we simply, we are used, we, we, now people are starting, decide, are deciding to honk here. Uh, okay, I hope you're not, you're not hearing it. Yeah, uh, you always save 50 or 35 percent of anything you make. Mm, saving is very important. You pile up, no? So I mean, in the in the final pricing, it's important for you to to consider uh, that uh, that 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 amount of money. It's very important. So you won't have surprises, basically. Uh, so lack of a routine, lack of a routine. For this, you always find that a lot of sound engineers they do to have fun, to entertain themselves. They do other activities outside the studio, far from their machines. For example, it's not really a good thing uh, for a sound in- engineering. Mm, for a sound engineer, sorry, to work in a studio, no, even if it's his studio, work in his studio, and then and then entertain itself. Hi, Marcy, how are you? And entertain himself or herself using video games, no, because you need you need to somehow unplug. You need to uh, to do other things like like the place where you work cannot be the same place where you entertain yourself. Marcy, we were talking about mental health, so the first point was routine. Like the problem is like that for us sound engineers, like is not having a routine. A sound engineer, or music producers. So. A lot of people, a lot of producers, a lot of engineers, they have as, let's say, objective, as a goal, to do outdoors activities. Or if they are, if those things, or if those activities, for a series of reasons, even just because maybe you don't like outdoor activities, 
might be indoor activities but far from the uh, uh, the machine like you like social activities organize a board game night and you know do role play play D, &D. Uh, you don't like games at all you don't like people so you are anti-social and then organize a cooking night but i mean or or i don't know like like uh, give yourself an objective to learn how to cook so for uh, a number of hours a week you are not you entertain yourself with this hobby or read a book you like outdoor go trek you can hit the gym you can go running you can just have a walk i don't know i don't know um, but the key is to stay away from that machine because that box is already where we uh, gain our bread where we earn our daily bread now also bread and fun <laughs> you understand that between the computer and the nini and the and the and my phone like a person is digitally absorbed no Mm, so routine build your routine say as much as i love music as much as i love my job as much a, as much as a passion and something that is making me earning money on normal period i do not operate for more than six hours eight hours ten hours three hours i don't know um or every two hours i need to go and have a coffee like for example me i am the kind of person who can work even 16 hours straight like like no problem but i need frequent you know let's say break even if it's like three minutes just to stand move my leg a bit and then go back you know then i can even work for 16 hours no problem there are other people that if they do this they get distracted they don't know how to you know to pick it um, so they kind of lose the um, the working flow the workflow yeah <laughs> so build your routine that's my advice it doesn't need i mean better for you if your routine is also is also healthy but i mean build your routine away from uh, from that box in, in that case the computer that uh, but because i mean it is gonna it's gonna be kind of i don't know um, alienating somehow uh so yeah it's better to in all honesty from from my humble experience no to do something different as a hobby this can help you sometimes when i have blocks it helps to take a break i usually find the answer yeah but on this I, I am totally 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 with you it's like um now when i was in kenya for me it was a bit hard uh, but for example like here um, i like fishing so when i need to um, have some fresh air like in my brain i take my fishing rod my my stuff pa, 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 i take the train 30 minutes i'm in front of the sea i see i sit uh, you know me and the <laughs> and the immensity of, of the void in front of me hopefully i'll catch the dinner otherwise i can always buy it in the supermarket but in the meantime i am you know somehow having fresh air i'm uh, i am switching off like resetting my machine then you restart then you go back home and then that mix will sound better that master will sound better the beat you are making will sound more involving so it's important mm, to break because as much as it is a passion always remember that is a job no 
uh, for example, I can tell you, my dad, um, he works in a restaurant, he has worked in a restaurant for all his life, and every time when in his free time he has to go <laughs> to a restaurant, he's kind of pissed. Why? He says, look, I am in a restaurant the whole week, now when I am free, you want us to go to a restaurant. Ah, I can't, you know. So that's that's the thing. Don't make be your job a passion. Like be make it a passion, of course, hopefully. But still, is I mean, but it's still your job. Don't use it as a hobby. So, mental health, mm, a routine and mental health. I mean, the routine is one of the pillar. I'd I'd say even when you are depressed, the first thing that you are advised to do, and before you lose it, guys. Uh, uh Sean, let me make an announcement. That is not luck. I see that you are not good. <laughs> so, jokes aside. Um What can I tell you? It's like when you are when when you are there to lose it. Yes, exactly. It keeps you disciplined. Because if you stop waking up like at a given time, if you stop having lunch and dinner at a precise exact time, you start to pile up problems on problems on problems on problems. And when you are very close to lose it, trust me, that simply by putting your alarm at 7.30 a.m., even if you don't have to do nothing, even if you don't have nothing to do at 7.30 a.m., it will really help because it will keep you disciplined, because it will keep you at least have the illusion or have the, 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 the idea that you are part of something. It will give you the idea that you are in control, that the events are not happening because they are happening. I mean, they are happening, yes, but you are in control. Sometimes, guys, even an alarm, or even by saying every day by one, I want to have dinner. Uh, sorry, not dinner. I want to have lunch. You have lunch at that time. It keeps you disciplined. It's important. It's the first thing, like for real. And there was, guys, for over a year, I, I entered a very deep, very deep depression. Mm. So the first thing I was doing, uh, I mean, the first thing I was told to do by a therapist was actually to set a, to set a, a routine and to respect it. Not with things that I don't like, but with things that I like. Then, of course, having a routine, um, like it's like once you have the rules, you can't break them. Yeah, it takes 75 days to form a habit. But during the time, one day can mess it all up. Yes, uh, but I mean, to form a habit is a thing. Okay. But to have the discipline uh, to, I mean, to have some rules, to have something you can, you can, you can actually pick it up from. Uh, one of the first symptom. I mean, symptom, symptom, I don't know. Something that happened, one of the things that happen when you are depressed, for example, is like that you shop, you, you actually stop taking showers. You stop taking care of your personal hygiene. Why? Because you don't feel the need. It's like, I don't care about other people. <laughs> I don't care if I stink. You don't feel the social pressure. So having as a schedule to go and have a walk or have a run every day for 30 minutes, one hour, it will start to make you feel like, okay, as much as I don't care about people, I can't be a threat. <laughs> so I shower. That's, that's the th stupid example. Okay, but that could be a thing. Uh, then, I mean, of course, there are routine and routine, eh, Frida? 
It's like, uh, of course, if you say, no, when I am with a guy, I have a routine that the first date is all romance, all flowers, dates, then the third time it's this, and then, no, 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 please, please. Routine, the, the routine uh, should be where <laughs> they can't do damages. Okay, like where... Mm, there is no passion okay of course if you if you if you start to put uh, uh the love in this sense not the feeling of love in a routine uh, that's called a relationship yes you kind of kill it but it's i mean it's uh, it's important to also have it because of of, of a series of things so routine not lose it then 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 for uh, your mental health guys is uh, form healthy habit i mean i would say it as a general thing but it might be i don't know a bit stupid of course guys if you're sad don't don't drink like don't drink to have your sadness uh, being brought away mm. another thing i can tell you never stop communicate to communicate if you are sad if you feel you are depressed reach out to someone don't don't lock yourself up to to your thoughts because that can actually be very harmful like if you feel depressed it's always a good idea to uh, try and talk with the people you think are close to you might sound a bit selfish but i mean sometimes if you have someone who you consider a friend don't think you are bothering him or her by telling him oh, huh, I am sad what can I do of course if your communication if your narration is always I'm sad I'm sad I'm sad I'm sad I'm sad every day of your life guys there, there is a problem that you even know but you don't want to resolve it oh. short so it's important like talk to people like um, don't close yourself up let people around you to know of course not everyone like don't go around with a t-shirt i am depressed uh like only the people who you think they can understand you and don't start that thing Oh, what would you advise if you feel like a job is just having an effect on one mental health? <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to, to leave it as a, as a cherry at the end, but uh, yes, it's, it's a very important, it's a very uh, crucial point, I'd say. We'll get there. Mm. Of course we'll get there because it's the key for for the whole life for the whole uh, live podcast uh yes don't worry i'm going to answer to you frida don't stay there don't move so yes do not isolate yourself yeah but also if you know mm, there are people that are friends for a season and other that are friends for a reason. Like if whoever you have close to you by that time, even if it's not going to solve the problem, I assure you that knowing that there is someone else that knows that you are in pain, it's really, really, really helpful. Of course, that experience can be used to uh, create a stronger bond between uh, between you and your and your and your friend 
Uh, of course, what I'm telling you, don't have the narration that you are always sad because you'll end up like mm, putting the, those people mm, far from you. That's that's the thing. At least if you have a problem, try and solve the problem. Like your friends are there for you, uh, also for you, but also give give them a reason for them to be there. That's guys. That's 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 important. Don't um, think they are there because it's cool that you are sad. They are there because, of course, there are a series of good experiences you made together. Do not isolate, do not pretend. If is a true friend, the moment you say that you are sad, that person will really listen to you. But even just by sharing this, uh, you know, it's, it's a thing, guys. It's a thing that we often and uh, estimate having a confrontation uh, i don't know like uh, this this chick is treating me that way because uh, she told me that i'm sad because of that by talking but to your friend maybe your friend had a similar experience and he's he is going he's gonna tell you look uh, give her time let her boil down you know boom problem solved I mean, solved. At least you had another point of view. Or if you have a... Um, um, a, nini, a friend, uh, a male friend, and you are a female, for example, in this case, you, Frida. It's like, oh, this guy is telling me this. Uh, how should I react? What, what does he want? What, what is he saying? Is mad? Is not mad? Hmm... Well, having a male friend, it's, uh, it's very helpful because maybe he can tell you, look, as a man, I can tell you <laughs> that in his mind there is this, this, this and that. Sometimes confrontation, it can help us having some lights on, on the tools, no? Now, mm, we grown up in a culture where... Uh, expressing somehow the true emotion it's uh, is not seen as a super good thing which it's a culture guys that I don't I do not share as I as I also said some lives back uh, no, no one is perfect and as an individual I want my right to be sad, I want my right to cry, I want my right to be wrong, to do mistakes, to feel bad, to feel good. I mean, I want my freedom, I want my liberty, you know, my individual freedom in doing all those things that contributes to create my unicity. Mm. And remember that, that that unicity is not always good. Okay, so... Just know that we can't always be happy. If you go online, on Instagram, on uh, whichever other social, everybody nowadays is happy. <laughs> it's not possible, of course. But it's also true that every, if everybody is giving us the image that is happy, is because we are attracted to happy things. Of course, you won't come to this live if I want to, if I would have said, oh, I'm very sad, life sucks. No, you are here because, you know, maybe you find me entertaining or you watch some other YouTube videos because you might find them uh, happy and hyped up. So, always don't work actively on rejecting people around you. Eh? Like, Try to be analytical on some problems. Mm. Then, what I call the wall effect. Sometimes uh, we encounter problems that we never encounter or had. 
And since they are new to us, we think that we can't make it. But it depends on the country, Sean. Eh? <laughs> Depression zone. <laughs> I'm using the CEO of Twitter. It's not really like the representation of happiness. So maybe, maybe you are right. <laughs> so, mm, what I'm saying, you know, whatever I call the wall effect. Mm, whenever we have a problem, sometimes we don't even see the problem. So it's like if tomorrow I have an accident and I lose my leg, on the spot the problem could be that I, that I lost my leg. That is not even a problem, by the way, because remember that problems always have a solution. The only thing that does not have a solution in this world is death. Okay, that is the only thing you can solve. But by the rest, if it has a solution, it's a problem. If it does not have a solution, it's a condition. Like if I lose my leg, um, that's a condition. If I ate something bad and I'm spending, you know, the whole day into the loo, that's a problem. So always try to find what are conditions and what are problems. And here we are getting close to uh, what Frida uh, brought, brought up, the issue that Frida brought up. So the whole effect uh, is that don't look at a thing in its own, on its own unicity, like wow, it's super big. Because like a building, like a wall, that thing, that problem, was created like brick after brick after brick after brick. Of course, if you look at a building at a super high wall and you think, okay, I have to bring it down, you don't see how is it possible, no. But if you think logically how to demolish it brick after brick, small piece after small piece, the job will be super, super, super easy. At least in your mind and once it is happening in your mind it can happen it's just about how but it can happen so uh, if you lost your job and you don't have the money to pay the rent and tomorrow you can't have dinner and things like that do not uh, think it's done do not oh my god everything is going bad etc 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 solve a problem at a time so understand that from tomorrow uh, you will be without a job so you'll have to adapt on it you will have to count on your savings you will have to i don't know go down with your lifestyle entering in what i call uh, energy saving mm. In this case fi finance saving but uh that's 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 the that's the thing uh, so yes break down a problem in few different in its few different components and you will see that mm, some of the things that are composing those problems some of them will be conditions which you can't resolve. Some other will be just problem and you can resolve them. Of course, you can't resolve all of them at once. Like if you, lost, if you lose your job and you don't know what to hit and where to, uh, to, to sleep and what to eat, it's not like uh, you don't know. I mean, you can't solve everything at the same time you have to i mean it's like a job job can i find it tomorrow no so you put it on hold uh where am where, where am i going to sleep tonight mm, tonight i have i have like uh i can ask a friend of mine to sorry ambulance guys i hope it's not too loud Ah, it's even below here. 
Do in, uh, down here. So tonight I can go and sleep to someone else, to a friend of mine place for eating. Of course, tomorrow I can't uh, go and eat a super big steak. I might have to eat bread and onion. Bread or in Italy the equivalent, like to say bread and onions, like <laughs> to eat very poor meals. Uh, but yeah, I solved. I put, uh, you know, uh, 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 how can I say? I somehow uh, resolved that situation in that moment. Then, a step step by step, I can start to work. And it's like, okay, so the problem is that I don't have a job. No problem. I can go and get one. How? And you work on it. What you're saying, like uh, the story of Sisyphus and the boulder. Mm, yeah, the myth, and, and you know, it's like, um, it's like uh, what I'm telling you. I mean, what you're telling me, the myth of Sisyphus. Sisyphus, um, <coughs> let me put it, let me try and put it in a, in a, in a, you know, in a very digestible uh, uh, way. Mm, but but yeah, I could say, yeah, let me not explain the myth, otherwise we'll, we'll end up tomorrow. But yes, mm, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is... Uh, it could it could apply actually. Um, so yeah, and mythology, guys. Uh, the operation you did, Sean, is very very clever actually. Why? Because whatever can happen to us has already happened <laughs> in some different way, in um, with different character on different stages on different uh, things uh, but yeah that's 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 the that's the thing so um, I mean the Greek myth can give us inspiration now Whatever you said about Sisyphus and the boulder is like, uh, to make it short, in that myth, you know, there is this uh, Sisyphus, who was this king of uh, the ancient Greece. Uh, he did a lot of bad behavior. He, he, he behaved very bad <laughs> with a nymph. And uh, Zeus got mad. So what, what happened? He condemned him to push a boulder on a mountain and then whenever Sisyphus uh, got on top of that mountain with that boulder, boom, uh, coming down the hill again. So in fact it's like Sisyphus was working very hard to push that boulder but he was never getting done with it. That's the whole effect. Like there are no these things are not happening but uh, but yes hi joy i know you are very shy to talk but let me say hi mm. uh, so yes that's the whole effect the myth of sisyphus mm, again in mythology sometimes we find a lot of explanation on what uh, on what uh, you know the, the the sadness we feel the sickness we feel so culture is an element that we can use to uh, we can use to stay sane uh, no not really Let, let's not enter in mythology Sean then uh, Frida Frida say yes not everything is permanent uh, it's true it's true in fact there is another Greek uh, philosopher that used to say Pantarei everything flows not necessarily whatever that happened it should be bad or good everything that happened is neutral uh, 
It depends on the point of view. Imagine a, um, a fire, a very big fire, which destroys a village. It's a very bad event. But after years, instead of that village, there will be a forest full of animals. So it's bad for who? It's bad uh, for, you know, you get it. Mm, so not everything is permanent, first of all, and not everything is uh, is either good or bad. Uh, it depends on how we interpret things. And of course, having the tools for the right interpretation is always the key for uh, things to happen in our head the right way. Greek mythology, guys, uh, you can study on it. It's very accessible nowadays. At least to have ideas. At least to know that something like that happened. Even if it's just a myth, it already happened. And you'll see, you'll see, like, uh, for example, if we think about um, mythology and sound. No, this is audio talk. We can tell, I can tell you the myth of... Um, Ico and Narcissus. Ico was this uh, nymph who was li living in um, in Greece near the the Mount Olympus, not really there, but close to <laughs> to that place. And she fell in love with Narcissus. Narcissus was this guy that was all beautiful and everything like that. Anyway, still. Since um, Eco did uh, something, she misbehaved again. Actually, no, Eco did not misbehave. Zeus was very jealous of Eco. So what happened? He condemned Eco to not be able to talk, but just to repeat whatever she was listening. So an Eco, no pa pa. It's you know the Eco that we hear in a church, etc., etc., etc. Uh, and then again the sad part of the myth that Athena, the goddess for the hunt, got so not mad at uh, <laughs> of course Narcissus used to refu then then refused Ego because he thought that she was just crazy and was having fun of uh, him. So Athena got so moved, so emotional about it. And he condemned Narcissus to be, uh, yo, you've been an asshole. So now, since you're so full of yourself, I condemn you to look at yourself every day, every night. I condemn you to, to, to look at your image in that uh, body of water. Then he fell into the lake because of the hunger <laughs> and he died. You know? The narcissism. You see, like also a lot of psychology things goes back to philosophy, to Greek mythology, which which also is part of the the philosophy. Yeah, it's like myths were written with a, um, I could say, with a purpose. Mm. So, uh, yeah, wow, it's already almost an hour of life. Of life. So, um, Frida, you asked me something earlier. You told me that you go, you get so fed up with the no, no, not the routine. Sorry. What I would advise if I feel like that a job is just having an effect on one's mental health. Well, first of all, if your job is having an effect on your mental health, I could say you are not living the job in the right way mm. so you are giving too much you feel is an unbalanced situation sometimes we have to accept it to survive sometimes we have a choice but still is that mm. but not only that uh, Wait a second, guys. There is Waxy Paxy that wants the link to join. So it's like it's it's an unbalanced it's an unbalanced relationship. Is where you are giving too much. You feel you are giving too much. Mm, so reason number one for this, you feel the toll on your mental health. 
My advice, if you feel that could be this, that this could be the reason, uh, like somehow start to be cold toward your job. Let's not forget that your job is something, is an activity that you do to live. You don't live to work, but you work to live. You get it? At the end of the day, the job should, not, should stress you, yes, but in the right way. For example, uh, I remember I refused once a job offer that was given to me. On paper, it looked very good, but then considering the working times, considering where I would have worked, it didn't make, it could, it, it wasn't making sense at all, no? So, uh, what I would advise, first of all, detach yourself from, from your job, a bit. Like, you are paid to be there from 9 to 5. Be there from 9 to 5, mentally. Uh, let me send the link. Like mentally, be there. Don't like. Don't don't overdo. Don't uh, start to um, to give too much to that workplace. Then I mean, maybe you you might uh, maybe you're doing the the wrong job. But then again, or maybe you're doing the right job in the wrong way. Like again, it's like as a sound engineer, uh, I can tell you sometimes, uh, not sometimes, most of the times, there are some things that I have to mix, I have to work with, that uh, it's okay. I do it because I have to pay a rent. I have to buy my bread. I have to, to live and survive. Mm, it's not so different from me going and working in a restaurant like at all because there is a part of my job which, which is also a hobby but not everything I do is a hobby you get what I mean so start to detach yourself from your workplace maybe you can even go and try and find uh, something new something better something that will make you even feel realized there might be even the lack of perspective maybe whatever you're doing is not giving you enough perspective which i mean perspective could be in terms of uh, financial of course financial perspectives but could also be career wise mm, i don't see anything bad in doing small jobs like i come from a family where we also we always used our our hand to do hard working hard work sorry so i don't see anything bad in it it's like then now we can make it look fancy and fancy and fancy but mm. but yeah it's like uh don't 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 um how can i say if you have this lack of perspective again is it in the salary is it in the working time is it because you are not don't have the time of doing cultivating your passion mm, it depends i mean the fact that maybe you're doing i don't know the job you're doing maybe you can tell us but there is mm, don't feel bad don't feel bad because in in the world we need people who make bread in the world we need people who serve at restaurant in the world we need people who clean toilets i mean everything everybody is somehow needed no mm, maybe maybe we <laughs> as sound engineers and uh, music producer are not really needed i would say but um, but yeah the rest i mean is pretty much it's pretty much a thing so then it depends on what i know on how is affecting your mental health maybe you can do a step back as i was saying at the start of the live no so detach yourself 
I remember that especially during period of uh, long hours at the studio, like if you tell me ah, after the studio, can you just log into this game? We do a couple of hours. It's like, wow, guys, I feel like puking, you know. <laughs> I, I spend so much time in front of a computer that I can't even to play. So change environment then of course it's like maybe your workplace is just toxic i know these workplaces where people are just toxic maybe your boss is an idiot which it, it happened hey i have stories of my bosses like uh, that uh, <laughs> i think i can write a book mm. so yeah, but I'll avoid to tell you, tell them uh, here now. So uh, maybe maybe just your work environment is a bit toxic. So change it if you can. Uh, what <laughs> what if it's in a relationship? Let me open a book <laughs> here. In a relationship, uh, it depends again again here yeah i really feel uh, i mean i'm not a psychologist but i feel like i know quite a few things why uh, first of all why is taking toll uh, at all on your mental health mm, because it's unbalanced because you feel you're doing more than what you're receiving because uh, your expectations are high. I don't know, it depends. Usually if a relationship is taking a toll on your mental health, uh, you can run, actually. Remember always that um, we never think about it, no. We, we always think that whenever we break uh, up with someone, is the end and will feel so miserable and sad but let me give you an example no it's like today my happiness is 10 no because i mean i do a job that i like um, i have a good family i i feel satisfied in general so my happiness has a value of 10, hypothetically. Your happiness as Frida is also 10. We meet, we start a relationship during our relationship uh, because we love each other, because we complement each other. Our happiness is, it has a value of 11 or 12. I hope 20, but... That's not the point. When we will break up, uh, my happiness, if I reach happiness 20 with you, my happiness will not go, will not go below zero. Eh? At least not permanently. Of course, the first, the first week, uh, there is that miserable uh, <laughs> state where you want to kill the world. And I mean, it's, it's, it's organic, it's normal. Hmm... I would be surprised if not. Mm. After that, it doesn't mean that your happiness goes back to goes to minus ten. It actually be twelve, no? So even after the breakup, you might gain a plus two on your happiness. Why so? Because that re relationship enriched you. Of course, if a relationship is constantly giving you a headache, uh, Frida, stop it. Uh, but Frida, like every, everyone else, is like, don't, don't, don't start a relationship. Don't keep going on a relationship thinking that the relationship will be, will get, how can I say, on a different level, no? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, having expectation is okay. Discussing about issues is okay. 
Yes, 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 yes. Exactly that, uh, Baconio. Your happiness. You make your happiness. You make your happiness. So, if a relationship is, you feel is removing, end it, end it up. If you can't solve it, again, if uh, it's not a problem, but a condition, I mean, or you accept it, so by accepting that condition, you are like keeping the mental health issue out of it, or you stop it. So, you, or you don't accept it and you... You stop your, uh, you stop that relationship. There are no shortcuts in it. Uh, like, don't think that if you start a relationship uh, in a bad way, then magically it will change. It won't. Then I don't know what's uh, what's the issue in particular. But uh, mm, if a relationship is giving you a headache. Uh, See, first of all, you know, like, uh, don't be like Sisyphus with the boulder, the boulder. Like, demolish the headache in, uh, in its uh, fundamental components and, and then what you do? You analyze every, beer, every brick, every, every component on its own. You don't take, ah, oh, this relationship is giving me a headache, boom, and... No, why is giving you a headache? Because your partner drinks? Okay, why is it a problem for you? Is it a condition or a problem? Again, can you do something for it? Or is your partner cheating or he doesn't want to listen to you? It depends. Like, there are a zillion of things. Sometimes uh, a relationship is giving you... A problem on your mental health department because it's not your relationship end of the story like we also need to accept the end of things every time we uh, accept something to start a relationship uh, a movie or a good pizza sorry I'm Italian food has to be everywhere mm, we also accept that that thing will finish and we can't do anything about it. I mean, it's the nature of things. It's, it's, it's life. Things have a start. They have a progression. And then they, they end. They finish. They are over. And it's good in that way. Imagine having an asshole like me for the eternity. No? <laughs> you, get, you get my point, Frida. So... Always, always try and deconstruct it and see what, what you can do about it, if you can do anything. Sometimes we can't do anything. And it's a good thing to just say it's over. Like without any bitterness, without any, uh, any other thing um, that can make you giving out you or the other party giving out the worst part of yourself if i answer to you hmm guys you can come up with uh with with uh, with question uh, you can start to come up with question and uh, yeah and things to say because it's wow uh this live as usually as usually it drifted from the original idea I had but I'm happy that uh, that it did uh, okay wait let me do this now if you dare if you dare write it on the chat whatever you texted me on whatsapp right now write it on the chat <laughs> but so yeah i mean sometimes you know it's like the acceptance no that's another thing that can lead us to depression why we feel down why we feel depressed why we feel like uh, the world is over when a relationship ends 
because we never we have never been taught in uh, somehow in accepting the end of things we always we, we have been grown up with the myth of the blueprints that will come no, i mean not to me like you <laughs> me for princess uh that will come and take you far away and you will live like uh, the, 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 the romance or... Uh, uh, yes, Wax, I'm talking to you, by the way. By... By, you know, the, to live the perfect romance, etc, etc. It's not like that. Guys, things can change any time and we have to be ready there was a um, a sociologist who used to um, to write or to think about the modern society in a, in a fluid way you know so the fluid communication, the fluid image, the fluid this, the fluid marketing, etc, etc, etc. Zygmunt Bauman, you could read him because he, he, he wrote very interesting things. And we need to be fluid. We need to be fluid in, in the sense that we need to be ready to change uh, things. That we need to be Yeah, yeah. Never let a relationship define you or your joy. I mean, that's the that's the basic. It's like it's you. It's your joy that should define your relationship. If you get what I mean. Uh, yeah, but guys, as much as I love <laughs> talking about these things, someone told me. Someone asked me if I became a relationship coach. Uh, I wish, because it would have meant that, uh, that that I would actually understand relationship, but <laughs> I I don't. <laughs> I'm not a relationship coach. This I can tell you out of my experience, out of what um, it happened in my life, and uh, and yes, that's 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 the. That's the thing. So, um, as we are going to the to the closure of this uh, of this live, if you have any question, please, um, I'm going to answer it to answer to it in the next few minutes. I hope I answered to Frida exhaustively. But yeah, this is what I was uh, basically basically saying. Mm. Guys, and most important like behind the happiness remember that there is something called self acceptance what is it never let again a relationship uh, yeah <laughs> never let a relationship define your, you or your joy but also it might sound like a very banal uh, banal uh, thing never let the world or other people define who you are never ever guys never never that's one of the most unhealthy thing you can you can do to yourself do not uh, do thing because then maybe people will think a b c d e f be yourself accept who you are and i mean if there is something you, you want to work uh something that you want to change go and change it uh, believe in it for example uh stupid thing let's say i'm a, I'm a big boy no mm, because I, I i i love to eat a lot in the past as you can see <laughs> So at some point they said, okay, you know what, let me go and run in the park. I wasn't running, otherwise I would have been dead by now, but I was doing some kind of exercises. Of course, it's like, I had people looking at me very, 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 
badly, no? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and maybe maybe those people that yes were fit, maybe they were you know on a bench, like 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 drinking a beer or smoking a cigarette or doing other things. But in that moment, I I had an advantage. It's like, uh, okay, boss. Uh, me, I'm running, you are sitting. No, I have an advantage over you. And again, I don't think you would have the will to do what, whatever I'm doing. No. So, I never let these people define myself. I went to the... After that, since here is raining cats, dog and pig, uh, then I went to the gym and boom... A step at a time, I'm having my small results in the way I want, in the way I like myself. So never let other people define who you are. Never ever. The catch in the right. I don't know. I will look for it and read it. But uh, I trust your taste in um, in literature. Mm. So guys. Without getting too too far, otherwise, you know, with me, you can easily go above uh, the two hours, and uh, people after you might not enjoy a life of uh, two hours. So, uh, I think I will be stay on YouTube for a long time. I can even at worst i could even uh, decide to maybe do a multi-stream if you like the idea i could uh, so what does it mean multi-stream that i go on um, i go in stream on uh, youtube facebook twitch all at the same time so wherever you are you can't miss my my big face <laughs> let me not use other other objectives adjectives sorry mm. yeah i'm also i also have a cold then guys it's so so disturbing but yeah yeah it's very very cold so as usual guys please if you think you have any problem and you feel like you need someone to talk it's like you can use the chat, you can use the comment, you can find me online, it's like, let's talk, okay, don't feel yourself uh, isolated, mm, of course, I do not have any title to, uh, for you, I mean, not for you, for, to be a psychological aid, but, you know, Sometimes, as I told you, just talking and have a different point of view could be could be the best way, the best thing you can uh, you can do to to yourself. So um, I hope you like this uh, this live. As usual, I wanted to go in a direction. Then with you, it went on a total different uh, direction. So I might even just. Uh, change this channel in a in a relationship coaching channel <laughs> and see so let me know in the comment uh, if you find it useful if you like this kind of format if you prefer audio talks or you want some more free talks then guys as usual mm, if you like the video put a thumbs up share the the love and subscribe to the channel if you didn't like the video do whatever you want see you next sunday but in the meantime let's rock <laughs>